Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add your images to the LSP Santa Snow Globe digital background version 2. These are so easy to use. So after downloading, you need to just double click and open up the file into Photoshop. You're going to want to be able to see your layers panel. So if you come up to window and hit layers, and in your layers panel, let me just make it a little bit bigger, you have the layers in there. The orange layer, which says place your image here, you need to be clicked on this before you do it um, for best results. Although if you drag and drop your image in and it appears somewhere else, just, just drag it down here to this area. Everything else is just set in place. You don't really have to move in any of that, but you can play with it if you want to. So to add your image in, you can either go to file and choose place embedded, add one image, add a hundred images, whichever, you know, however you want to do it, you might want to do these in bulk or you can drag and drop your image. So I'm just going to drag and drop. I'm just bringing up our beautiful model call images this year. So let's choose one um, and drop it into this image. Which one should we go for? We could grab a few, but mm, how about this one here? Beautiful one by Lucy P Photography. So you just drag and drop. A little rectangle box will come up. So you just literally, this is it really. <laughs> Hit enter and you're done. Um, that's literally as easy as it is. You have these other layers with masks on. If you want to um, grab a brush, black means hide, so you could paint the snow off if you wanted to. You could paint the reflections off if you wanted to. Um, but I think they look better with them. But you, with the snow, you might want to just take it off their face a little bit. We have a little shadow here as well, which I think is best left. But again, you could grab a white or a black brush and you know, you could play adding a little bit more shadow around your image whatever you want to do it's that easy to save for your client you come up to file save as a copy and choose jpeg to save it for the um, internet save it for facebook socials um, low res copies you go file automate um sorry <laughs> file export save for web and choose jpeg and that's it look we can you can add as many images as you want say we want to add a few of these in we just select them all Hit enter every time or each time you can resize if you wanted to entirely up to you or you can resize in bulk. But I'll show you what to do if you're just kind of hitting enter every time as they're coming in. You just hold down control. You select them in your layers panel. Control or command T or go up to edit. Transform. Either way you get these um, the, the bounding box come up and you can just resize and pop them in. And there we go. You can edit them individually if you wanted to. For example, here, I'm just going to move it down a little bit. Just positioning in. This one needs to be a little bit smaller. If you find you've got these edges, all you need to do is come down to the bottom here, add a layer mask. It's like a rectangle with a circle in it. Grab a brush, soft brush set to black and just lightly wash the edges a little bit to curve it round and we're done so we have all these images now and you can just go ahead and save them um, for your clients these make a really good upsell you can either include them in your galleries or um, you can you know have them as an extra for your clients you have them as a surprise they're very attention grabbing on social media really really simple Let's just grab another one up and let's just, I don't know, let's just drag and drop an image in. Beautiful image here by Kat. Add dinky dots. I'm just going to, and you can see all these reflections are in anyway, giving this beautiful 3D look. I'm just going to use the black brush to paint the snow off the face a little bit. And there. We're done. It is literally that simple to use these. You just open it up and drag your image in. Which one have I just popped in here? <clears throat> um, beautiful shot by Joanna at Nestled in Time Photography. And there we go. Literally. And then you just go ahead and save them. They are so easy to use. You can edit an entire batch of these. You could do just one. You could do an entire batch. But either way, just so easy to use. If you accidentally save over the original, that's cool because you can re-download it from your LSP Actions account or just delete the layers you've added in and carry on. Really, really simple. 
So I hope you love using these. Um, I'd love to see what you do in the LSP Actions Facebook group. Do post your snow globe images because I'd really love to see what you're creating with these. Um, it's wonderful to be creative, especially at Christmas time. Hope you love them. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.